And now an extraordinary rare chance to see something many of us have only seen in the movies. As you know, Hurt Locker won the Best Picture Oscar. And it is about the men who defuse bombs day after day, getting up in the morning to do it every day in Iraq. Our digital reporter, Karen Russo, spent time on the real front lines with the Hurt Locker forces in Afghanistan. The iconic scene, a soldier, heart pounding, going to defuse a bomb. But this man is an actor. This man is not. Chris Millward, Sergeant First Class, 32 years old, from Freeport, Illinois. When you're in the bomb suit, everything changes, you know. You get sweaty, nervous, thoughts start running through your head, you know. Am I doing this right? Am I not doing this right? Okay, you know. And then you, you know, kind of give yourself a smack of reality going, you know, I'm a team leader for a reason. And I'm going to do it this way, and this is my final decision, right, wrong, or indifferent. He's a father who over and over again takes that walk toward the unknown. His team has already used a hydraulic tool called a ferret arm to dig near the bomb disconnecting its wires. But in the end, it's up to him to defuse it. He slowly removes the pressure plate, the bomb's trigger. He asks us not to film any further at this moment so the enemy doesn't learn from his tactics. I'm going to do my thing now. I'm going to leave you for yes, a minute? You okay. His colleague is Lieutenant Chris Baker, who's married and doesn't tell his wife much about what he does. Your wife knows what you do for a living? Yeah, she knows what I do for a living, but I talk to her regularly, but I never talk about what I do out here. I mean, it, it's pointless. Why, why tell somebody what you're doing out here so they can just sit back and worry, you know? In the film, the bombs are buried in the street, hidden in the backs of cars. Can we get these people out of here so they're not watching what the hell we're doing? And here in real life, just as in the film, they ask locals to be cleared from the scene. Anyone watching could be spying, preparing an attack with a cell phone. We don't like people, local nationals watching us do that because obviously we can't tell who's good and who's bad. So even though they look like farmers, they could have video cameras or? Yes, oh yeah. These guys have cell phones, don't let them kid you. They have cell phones with cameras, with video, and they could be taping it for extra money. We are back now with Sergeant Millward, what who has identified what kind is, of bomb. What you we have here is probably 40 pounds worth of what we call ammonium nitrate aluminum mix, or on all. Enough to take out an armored vehicle filled with his brothers. In the movie, the psychological effect of defusing so many bombs meant the character couldn't go home. In real life, it's nothing for Sergeant Millward to defuse two a day. And if you notice a slight limp, it happened when he was clearing bomb material. It's a prosthetic. He lost part of his leg, doing just this in Iraq. He asked to return to the job. You don't have to be uh, crazy to do the job, but it does help. Your safety is less important than making sure everyone else is safe. One man's courage a lot of lives saved.